What's up, everybody? Today, I've got some interesting news coming from the Tops Industry Conference 2023. I'm going to tell you all the juicy details, and I found some more product in the wild, and I'm going to rip it after the news. There's so much to talk about, I don't even know where to begin. First off, Tom Brady, the GOAT, is going to have first autos. Bowman first autos in potentially 2023 Bowman draft. Guess what? The price is going to be on those boxes. His card is going to be from the team that drafted him in the year 1995, the Montreal Expos. It's also been announced that they're going to continue the Topps MVP buyback program. That's an exclusive in Topps Chrome. So be prepared to chase next year's MVP. Topps has also announced a collab with youth sports, specifically Little League Baseball. They're going to be giving away free packs to kids that sign up for the program. Here's a bunch of products that are going to be eliminated or at least not going to be in 2023. First edition, Bowman Chrome X, clearly authentic, Tops Fire, Tops Gallery, Gold Label, and Opening Day. But good news for those who collect Big League, it's going to be back in 2023 and that's going to be the entry-level product. In other news, Bronny James, LeBron James's son, is going to have Chrome cards in the Tops Chrome McDonald's All-American set. The World Baseball Classic is going to have baseball cards as well. We're going to be gobbling those up. And coming soon, we're going to have retro fractors that include some baseball's greats, including Babe Ruth. He's going to have a first Bowman card. We're also going to get first stitch cards. These are going to be cards that come from a player's jersey from their first game or from their first appearance or from the first game after a trade that's available in Tops Update. And finally... Frozen Fractors, you may have heard of these already. They're going to be cards numbered negatively. Negative one of zero, negative two of zero, negative three of zero, and so on. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. And now, on to the rip. All right, so I actually found some cards in the wild. This was a couple weeks ago before I left on vacation. I just didn't have time to open it on the channel yet. So we got three hangers, four blister packs, and a blaster box. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video. Strikerbreaks.com is the website. So, geez, everybody knows about this. How good update is. No reason to stop ripping it. I have opened a lot for my personal collection. I just can't get enough of it. I'm gonna spare you all the base cards and just get right to the good stuff in the middle of the pack, but you do have to scan through and see if you hit a SP, especially in the first part of the pack, you can get that Soto. And I've been pretty bad about doing that. Look at this, a gold. Jorge Soler, not the player I'm looking for, but we're gonna put them, uh, we're gonna put them up there, just kind of keep track of what we get. Bobby Stars. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Julio Black Gold. I, I absolutely love that card. There we go. Just a quick, quick look through. Pretty, yeah, I can pretty much spot an SP. Pretty much. Going through real fast like that. But I'm going to go through the cards afterwards. Just to double check. Maybe pull out the Julios. I don't know. I'm still trying to make sets out of this stuff. Sets are still pretty valuable. I think the sets are going to maintain quite a bit of value. There's just so many good rookies, especially as spring training goes on and people start lighting up. I don't know about you, but I've noticed an uptick in sales quite a lot in the last week. People are starting to get jazzed up about baseball, getting excited, more marketing for the sport. We got another gold. Why is that one flipped around? Okay, we'll take it. Two for two golds. Ridiculous ridiculously good look at this box gold blue and rainbow foil get out of here not a good player to be had but unbelievable <laughs> and a paragons never ceases to amaze got an abrams basically just looking for that soto i don't have it and i want it Everybody else is pulling the Soto SP out of the front part of the pack. Everybody but me. I did, however, find one in uh, one of the breaks when I was sorting the cards afterwards. So someone got a pleasant surprise. A 
a vintage stock. Come on, big vintage. Oh, yeah. I like that one. I like a Pujols vintage stock. Ninth all-time in hits. That's a cha-ching right there. Look at it. Centered. Crisp. Numbered. 75 of 99. Yeah. Collectible for sure. Pujol stuff has, has really heated up. That's not it, though. You're, you're also going to get a, a rainbow foil. Like, here you go, kid. I know the vintage stock wasn't quite what you were looking for, so we'll give you a, a rainbow foil, too. I appreciate it. No Sotos? Ooh. Course. All right, how about these? some blisters so what do you think about the news i want to know in the comments below there's so much to talk about i went really fast through the news because you know who wants to sit there you've probably heard most of this stuff anyway but i think the most exciting thing is the brady i don't hear i mean people have like touched on that but a brady first bowman auto are you that that if i could pre-order bowman draft right now i would like all of it. On, I can't imagine what that could potentially be worth. Even the base auto. So we got the blister packs here. You know the odds. That's a nice Bobby. You know the odds are about the same as the retail. They're actually exactly the same as the twenty-four count retail box. So we've got we've got a hot a hot pack. Look at Chrome Stars of MLB. Lucius Fox Rainbow Foil rookie and a vint or a advanced stats Eric Fetty. Ridiculous. Number to 300. It's ridiculous. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm making a mega push to 100,000 subscribers. And it's only going to happen if you hit the subscribe. Nothing. Nothing good. Hey, Julio. How you doing, bud? You're looking happy. Hmm? Royce Lewis. Black gold. It's kind of a nothing pack. Even in your nothing packs, you get good stuff. Ready for Julio to have like a 40 home run, 50 stolen base season? Are you ready for that? Are you ready for some nasty numbers this year out of people? Are you ready for the pitchers to be complaining like crazy? I can't wait. I can't wait for Tatis to put up some juicy numbers. Like, oh, the stolen bases. He's got it all. He's back. That first spring training game, I watched some interviews with him too. He's looking happy. Chrome Darvish, Springer, and Correa. Ooh, how close is that? But it's still a good one. George Kirby, decent centering on that one, too. Gold in here. Mm -hmm. Torkelson. Ooh, the wrong Royal. Although Melendez is awesome. I will give you that. Oh, wow. This is actually a nice pack. Look at this. Hunter Green Gold and Melendez Rainbow Foil. Two notable rookies in a parallel. And that's one of the things that makes this product special. The second and third and fourth tier rookies all have like a lot of upside. How about a blaster box? Okay, here we go. Lodolo, Mount Castle. 
pretty much, wow, another vintage stock. Oh, the wrong guy, the wrong Mariner, though. I can't believe we pulled two vintage stocks out of just a handful of retail. These days are probably done. Just judging from the feedback of the conference, the industry conference, it seems like the days of retail having bangers is, is just being full of bangers is done. At least for now. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I'm on the fence. Steven Duggar rainbow foil. Vintage stock and rainbow foil. And Julio stars. Neil Cruz. Something. Tell me that's a gold. <laughs> and a short print. Satchel page short print. Vintage stock. Rainbow foil. This is insane. This is insane. Scherzer chrome and a chrome stars of MLB. What else? How about a blue? Oh, I think I see a blue in there too. Why not? Why not? Oh, and a relic picture perfect blue parallel. What can you get anything else? Like, how can you cram more value in a box of cards than 22 update retail? Gosh, this stuff is, if it's not dry already, completely dry already after this, I mean, I'm going to check this Friday and see if there's any more, but it's probably dry completely. And I mean, people are going to be buying, buying it up off of, you know, David Adams and Steel City, they have been, and the prices have been going up. But as you saw from my numbers in the value series, they produced like a fraction of the amount of update as they are for 2023 Series 1. So I appreciate all you. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you all later.